So I'm sure by now most of you have probably heard about all the X-Class solar flares popping off from the sun. It's probably been about seven or eight just in the last week. And of course, Saturday night, Aurora could be seen all over the world. Maybe you got to see them for yourself for the first time, or at least pictures and video from online. Well, I don't know if you might remember, but this isn't the first time this has happened. If I remember correctly, it also happened on March 23rd, 2023. I don't know, I might be off by a day or so. I found the article again that described the event. You can pause and read it if you want to. There's a reason I remember this. I actually screenshotted this article back on March 26th, 2023, when I found it. Because to me, it was proof. Proof of what? I'm glad you asked, because tonight I want to talk about the time I basically predicted this would start happening, but not through science, but through scrying. If you don't know what scrying is, don't feel bad. I'd never even heard the term until after I started doing it. It's basically like when someone looks into a crystal ball to see things, but I do things a little different. I have a few crystal balls, but I like to mix it up experiment, incorporate different items, but take pictures and video so that I can show people what I see rather than just tell them about it. The images that I produce could be considered visions manifested into our world so they can be seen and shared. Now I'm sure that sounds crazy to most people, but if you're even the least bit open-minded to something like that, then you might want to stick around. Because with everything going on right now, to take the opportunity to revisit a video I made over a year ago, about two weeks before all of this started happening. The title is The Fire Opal Aurora, and I posted it on my YouTube channel, Seerscapes. I posted this video because I wanted to mark this day. Just stick with me, you'll see why. In this particular video, I did something I don't normally do had a quartz cluster and a shard of opal that I found. I don't normally scry off of just crystals alone, but the quartz cluster had a hole in it. it. Seemed to be the perfect size to fit the shard of opal inside. So I merged them and was compelled to take some photos. This was the photo that I used for the video. Sometimes I just use photos as they are, and sometimes, for whatever reason, I feel compelled to flip them upside down, which was the case for this image. And as soon as I flipped it upside down, it didn't even take a whole second. I immediately saw an entire scene, a familiar scene at that. To me, it looked like the river that I visit every week. Paint the picture for you. The first thing I noticed was what looked like a tree, and next to it, a figure stepping onto the scene. Next, we have the water represented by the shard of opal, and across the river, we have more trees and bushes. Now that I've shown you what I see, let's remove the graffiti. It's a lot prettier without my enhancements. Now if you think that's cool, check out this photo that I took a week later when I went to the river near my apartment. Wow. Do I even need to say anything? Like, you see it, right? It's the same freaking image. You know, I practically do this stuff in my sleep, but that's just incredible to me. And I didn't try to reproduce that image. This happened spontaneously. But as intriguing as that may be, it's really just a cute side note. Because what really got my attention was what I saw in the water. Do you see the subtle colors? The green shimmering off the ripples? Well, when I saw it, it immediately reminded me of the northern lights. Here, you can really see it when I enhance the color saturation. Now at the time when I took this photo, I'd already been experimenting with scrying for a little while. 
and if I was to take this as a message, there was really only one way I could interpret it. Yes, it's possible it could have been showing me past events, such as the Carrington event from 1859. A good portion of the images I get from scrying give me past life vibes, passed on ancestors, feeding me energetic remembrances. But this felt different, unmistakably different. It really felt like it was showing me something that hadn't happened yet. I mean, I felt like the figure stepping onto the scene was me, and I know I hadn't ever experienced any northern lights, but what really did it for me was the fact that you could only see the aurora and the reflection in the water. It gave me the impression that it was something I couldn't quite see yet, because it was just around the corner. All these thoughts started flooding in, and I remember asking myself, are we about to have a solar flare big enough? that I'm going to be able to see the northern lights here in North Carolina. I could feel it. I was so confident that this was a prediction, so I made the video to mark the date and the prediction. If it was going to happen, I really wanted proof. Here's a screenshot of the video from the very end. At the time, I didn't really use my voice in my videos. I found it easier just to use text. And this is the last thing I said. So I didn't just come out and say it bluntly. I wasn't 110% sure. And I didn't want to be wrong, honestly. But I knew what I felt. And I also didn't want to scare anyone. Because I've been watching the sun through different sources for over 20 years. So I'm not an expert, but I know more than the average person about what it's capable of understand the implications of a solar flare big enough for us to be able to see the northern lights in North Carolina. If it's big enough, we can knock the power grid out to the whole world. And I really wasn't trying to manifest that. But you see how I left you with a cliffhanger. A little dot dot at the end. If you know how to read between the dots, then you know what I'm trying to say. Basically, wait. There's more to come. So that's literally what I did. I waited. And then two weeks later, it happened. This is something that never happens. And I called it two weeks before it happened. And now here we are a year later, and it's happening again. Now I don't know what you call that, but it looks like receipts to me. Everyone's a skeptic. But what do you think? Does this open your mind at all to the prophetic potential of what I do? At the very least, I hope I can help crack open your creativity. And I hope you enjoyed this little download. I look forward to coming up with more stuff to warp your brain. I'm going to go ahead and get off here now. It's late and I have to work tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care.